Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Great Day Houston. When some people think of competing in beauty pageants, they assume that you must have the perfect body, beauty with no brains, and that your number one goal in life is to maintain world peace. That's easy. World peace. World peace. What is the one most important thing our society needs? That would be harsher punishment for parole violators, Stan. And world peace. Uh. Our next guest is here to prove those stereotypes wrong. Growing up a tomboy, Miss Texas USA Logan Lester said that pageants were the road that led her out of her low self-esteem and helped build her confidence. She is here to share her pageant experience as she moves on to compete for Miss USA in just a couple of weeks. Hello there. Good morning, Deborah. Um, it's hard to believe that you were a, a tomboy at one time. Yes. <laughs> all Long right. before this, all I did was a ponytail and some chapstick, and I was heading out the door. And that's <laughs> it. Okay, you mentioned that, and, and, we, and it's interesting because we see a lot of times young women emerge from something that was really tough, and you kind of make, you know, lemonade out of lemons. So you had low self-esteem. Why? Well, when I was headed into high school, I was experiencing some bullying, mm -hmm. um, so much so that I actually ended up graduating in three years. Um, I you just wanted, wanted to get, get, out, of get out of there, get out of there. Um, and that was kind of the time when I was, I started doing pageants. My mom encouraged me, you should try this, and I thought she was crazy. I was super skeptical of the entire thing. And it kind of happened by chance. Exactly. Didn't she get like a flyer in the mail she or did. something? She did, yes, exactly. She got a flyer in the mail, and I just trusted her with it because I was kind of desperate to just get out of the funk I was in, just yeah. something positive to work towards. And I did it, and I actually ended up loving my experience. And from that moment forward, um, the dream of being Miss Texas one day kind of was placed in my heart. And so that's, and that's that how I'm here true. now. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So you, you said it gave you something to look forward to. And I think um, pageants get a bad rap yes. from some people. But the thing that was great about it, instead of looking at it as a competition with other girls, it seems like it was a competition for yourself, for you to rise to the occasion. I think that's the only way you can be successful in the pageant competition um, is if you're just focused on being the best you can be, mm -hmm. being completely 100% authentic with yourself. Um, pageants really force you to get to know yourself raw, everything about you, what you love, what you don't like. Self-reflection is very important. And if the um, first time you don't succeed, Try, you try and try again. again. Right. I, this was my fourth time, actually, to compete for Miss Texas, and I finally got on my fourth try. And people will say, oh, she paid her dues or whatever. Yeah. No, I mean, the past three years, I wasn't ready for this job, and I see that now. So each year has what helped changed? evolve. Um, honestly, this time, I kind of went in just totally owning exactly who I am, mm -hmm. my flaws, my mistakes, the good things about me, and I combined that and just visualized exactly what I wanted and how to, how to get there. And so I think the visualization, being persistent, and the hard work from all those years just finally, I think, yeah. You know, and speaking of hard the work, there's there's working toward this goal, but you have another life where you work yes, too. Yes, yes. I'm also in real estate, um, and being Miss Texas and balancing my full time job has been quite a challenge. But this has been honestly one of the best experiences of my life because I've you know gone through a lot, and day to day I just take it day by day and try to do the best I can with yeah. both. Well, that's what makes a whole person. Yes. You know. Okay. So what does it take to to compete and to train? Okay. So obviously there's some guidelines that you have yes. to go by, but also just keeping yourself in shape and the whole bit. For sure. I mean, a lot of people think that um, competing at like, something can you like eat a Miss donut? Texas. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. Oh good. For sure. <laughs> but people think it's um, that you just show up one weekend and you compete in an evening gown, a swimsuit, right. and you're ready to go. But it's 365 days a year. I mean, I'm training um, to maintain a healthy lifestyle. That's super important to me. Um, that you know, girls don't see me as just this tiny little girl. I mean, I'm very healthy. Um, yeah. I try to go about it in a healthy way, a healthy body. And yes, I indulge in queso oh, well, all saw, the time. I saw you on the cheesecake because we, we run into each other at things. Uh, at, yes, at, at the luncheon. Yeah. yeah. But when we run to you know luncheons and galas, and we uh, and the thing is, you always have to be on. This, always. This can't be a fake girl. This exactly. Is who you are. Exactly. You have to be. And I mean, why would you want to be not yourself? That'd be yeah. exhausting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So it's one thing to be um, you know Miss Texas here, and then all of a sudden all the other misses are, are together <laughs> in the pageant there. Is that ever intimidating at all? Or is that kind of a, an experience where you're like, this is a sisterhood. We're all here for the same reasons and with the I same mean, goals to represent I, the country. I do think it is a competition, of course. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we have that bonding aspect because we're all going through the same thing and we can lean on one another. So I think that 
It's a little bit of both. Yeah, yeah. All right. Pageants can help provide scholarships. It gets, uh, you know, girls to school and the whole bit. Uh, and it also gives you a voice with a platform. And you have a platform. Yes. And, and that is to have empathy and sympathy. That's right. My life motto, it's a little simple phrase. It's because nice matters. And it's just really important to me to spread that message, especially going through some bullying and tough times, is to always rise above it and do what you can. Just be kind. It's yeah. so simple. It doesn't cost you anything. Just be a nice person. And you could be surprised how often people are so surprised by that yeah. when you're just nice for no reason. Okay, so like, um, do you ever, I just have to ask, this is okay. behind the scenes stuff, Okay. because you, you, you can't help it. Aren't <laughs> you like scoping out like what the competition, right, really, like, like you, who you're expecting to be standing up there with you on stage when it comes down to the finalists? You scope, don't you? Um, well, if you don't, I'm well, going to go scope it out yeah, for you. Yeah, social media. Watch out for Miss Hawaii. Right? <laughs> She's really nice. Her name's Julia. Oh. Um, <laughs> But actually, I mean, I'm, I've met a lot of the girls. Mm -hmm. We went to New York Fashion Week, so I had the chance to meet them one on one and, um, you know, up close and personal. You can't hide anything with Instagram, so you right, know, you, right. <laughs> you meet the girls and they're, Take honestly, that filter off. Right. they're honestly really impressive. Um, a lot of them have amazing careers and platforms. They're doing so much in the community. So, I mean, I do try to visualize. Obviously, you want to visualize yourself yeah. doing well and succeeding, but. It's, yeah. it's, I don't like pick people apart or look <laughs> right. at people. You, you mentioned doing stuff in the community at Ronald McDonald House, you do that, Best Buddies, uh, yes. traveling to Colleen to speak at uh, Veterans Memorial Military Ball and the whole bit. Yes. Um, all right. And then, of course, the other thing that you have to do, it's the you know, bathing suit and evening gowns, what we're used to seeing on TV. Yes. But you're actually going to be there where every minute's going to count and what you're wearing. So how many outfits are you taking up there? Oh, wow, like probably 30. I mean, there's three, sometimes four I hate to tell you this, but you're going to be paying extra in baggage. Day. You're paying the extra I'm in the driving. baggage. Yeah. Oh, it's in okay. Shreveport, Louisiana, so I'm just throwing it in okay. the car and get it driving. Done. All exactly. right, so um, you have a couple of folks. So it does take a team yes, to get you there. It does, and I want to introduce my amazing team. This is Marla and Jennifer. They are styling me um, for Miss USA, yeah. all my wardrobe. So my competition wardrobe is separate. I have sponsors that do that. But Marla and Jen have been so amazing with helping me get yeah. organized. Because they're watching you all the time. And the exactly. thing is, what you wear counts. They want to see how you would carry and represent yourself. Right. And I know that uh, Me Too is a kind of a theme that's going to run strong. Yes. Uh, and it's kind of interesting because people will say, well, Me Too and then pageants. But the whole point is you can look sexy, you can look pretty, you can look all those things. It doesn't mean somebody has a right to you. Exactly. And we could always use more positive role models. So I think pageants are still extremely relevant because um, we're smart and we are goal oriented and we want to do a lot of great things for the community and looking the part like you just said, you can look classy and sexy all at the same time. Yeah. So this is the look that I actually wore last night. This is from Cakewalk, Jennifer's shop. Love it. And uh, uh, this little bag here, the wicker purse, it's so in style right now. And then the dress that Jennifer, or Marla is holding is the uh, orange dress that I wore I had at the that MD dress. Anderson. I, I, yes. I, yeah, I did. I sewed a four of them together for it to fit. But it, it's, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes, yes, I do. I do love it. Okay. Um, when it comes to the, the evening gowns, because this, this stuff gets expensive and you pay for a lot of this. Yes. Like you said, it's a good thing you have your other job because exactly. the evening gowns, like, how do you, you know, how do you go about that? You want to wear the color that looks right for you, the, obviously the fit, you want something unusual, and hoping, crossing your fingers, you don't show up and somebody else has got your same dress. Yes. Miss Utah or yes. something. Yeah. Somebody, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just all about being confident. I mean, there's superstitions like, oh, you have to wear a certain color yeah. to win. But I just try to wear what makes me feel my best because I think that totally shows on stage. When you see somebody who's having fun, they look like they feel themselves at yeah. the moment. Yeah. You know, you you're feeling feel yourself yeah, down yeah. the runway. That's that's all that matters. Yeah. It's just feeling confident. How do you prepare for the questions? Do they give you any idea what they might be asking you? No, but you know, that's the great thing about all of us competing is I think we're all pretty intelligent and we have mm -hmm. opinions um, and thoughts about things going on in society and things going on in the world and as every, you know, contributing individual in society should have. Right. Um, so I just kind of familiarize myself with what's going on in the world and I'm ready to you know, talk about those things. I don't know what it could be, but I, I don't try to go into it expecting. I just... Well, we just know that world peace is always a good answer. Right? <laughs> no one can argue with that answer. That's that's for sure. All right. Logan will be participating in the Miss USA pageant on May 21st. The winner of the competition will then move on to the Miss Universe pageant. Let's just go ahead and say she's going to be the one moving on to the Miss Universe pageant. For more information on how to compete and to watch her pageant journey, we have a link on greatdayhouston.com, and we wish you all the best. We'll be like, we know Thank her. Thank you. We love her. Thank you, guys.